first part about giving a steroid injection is preparing the injection. And to do that, we use uh, 10 cc's, which is the same as 10 milliliters of fluid. Now, in a steroid, you're really only gonna use this very small vial of methylprednisone, which is only one milliliter. And then you're gonna combine that with both a short-acting and a long-acting um, a lidocaine and the purpose of that is to provide some pain relief in addition to the steroid. You see the steroid takes about a day or two to fully kick in and so it's nice to be able to uh, add a little bit of lidocaine which gives you a more immediate pain relief so you feel a combination of these two medications. So now we have our injection ready and we're ready to give it. Okay so now we are ready to give the injection. Um, there's a couple steps. First, we have to sterilize the site of injection. Then we get our ultrasound machine set up, and then we give the injection itself. And uh, any screaming, obviously, will get muted out in this video. <laughs> <laughs> to sterilize the area, we first use a betadine swab. Um, I put on sterile gloves because really, um, the biggest risk of this procedure is uh, the possibility that there could be uh, bacteria that gets into the joint, but by maintaining sterile technique, you really avoid that issue. So we are now going to use the ultrasound machine to better identify where the uh, joint is. So you can see here, the kneecap, quad tendon, and our goal is to see that needle just under the kneecap and quad tendon so that we know we're in the joint. Spot we want on the ultrasound, we really want to kind of numb the area with a little bit of a spray. So this cold spray kind of numbs the skin. And since I really like Margaret here, we're going to really lay on the spray, right? The more the better. Once that skin is numb, we're ready to give the, administer the injection. So here's the injection. You watch it under ultrasound. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the ultrasound, you're able to see the needle and the fluid filling up as it's going into the joint. Good. And then we're all done. It'd be great. I'm going to clean off the area. Put on a band-aid, even though there's no bleeding, it's really not a very traumatic process. I, the only other thing that I always explain is that the lidocaine will help initially, but can kind of wear off. And the steroid doesn't reach maximum effect until about two to three days. So be sure to ice the knee, you know, two okay. or three times a day. Gotcha. That's it. Sounds good.